All right, this is for net 200, okay? And we're going to take a look here at this packet tracer scenario. Now, we have an address that's given later in the document, 192, 168, 100, dot zero slash 24. So, just like we talked about before, here's the network part that we start with, and here's the host part that we start with. Okay? Now, can we subnet this network down below using this information here? Okay? So, let's take a look. <clears throat> here's what we have. We, we've got this router and this router. And so here's the networks. We got a network here. We have to have addresses for this network. And we got one here, one here, one here, one here. Okay, disregarding those arrows, we've got one WAN, one, two, three, four, we have five networks. And we have 25 hosts, plus we have to have an address for the router. Okay? An address for the router. So we really need 26 addresses out here. Unless, you know, unless they say they're using one of those 25. So if we have five networks, and we have these eight bits to work from. Okay? So... Let me see if I can squeeze that. Uh, which side should I go? I'll go right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight bits to work with. And then here's the rest of that address up here. Okay? So we definitely need five networks. Okay? So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use the red to divide this. Okay, here's my dot, and then I've got, this would only give me two networks. This will give me four, because there's four combinations. Two to the second is four. This one, two to the eighth, or excuse me, <laughs> it's going to be two to the third is eight. And so that will give me enough networks to cover the five that we just counted out because there would be eight combinations here. The first combination, all zeros, and then the second combination, zero, zero, one. If you did that, you'd have eight combinations there. Now, let's take a look. We have to decide, is this going to be enough host? So we've got one, two, three, four, five bits, okay, that we can use to make all the host. Five bits. Two to the fifth, is 32 minus 2, one for the network and one for the broadcast, so we have 30. So that's going to work. We'll have 30 addresses for each of the networks. Okay? Now, I'm not going to address this whole thing out, <clears throat> but here would be the next step. Your first address, your first address, and I'll write it here in brown, would be 192, 168, 100 dot, and it would be all zeros. Zero. Slash, what would it be? So I got 24 here, and I borrowed how many bits? Three. So that would be 24, 25, 26. 27. And then you should be able to figure out the mask. The mask would be 255, 255, 255, and then this, the mask is only these three, so you'd have to add up 128, 64, and 32, and then that would be the mask. So this would be our first network. Our next network, and that's just, I don't know what order the, the lab said, you could assign it to this one. So let's say for the next one, if we go 192, 100, or excuse me, uh, let me see, here. can I back that up? Uh, no, okay, so I'm going to just cross that off. So, 192, 
168, 100, dot, and then your next network would be this one, 001. So that's 1 in what position? 128, 64, 32. So that would be 32 slash 27. And then once you figure out the first one, the next one's going to be 64, okay, and so forth and so forth. All right. So that should get you started, and maybe that'll help you, you know, when they ask, you know, how many subnets are needed, and we said, well, it looks to me like five bits borrowed, we borrowed three, uh, how many subnets does this create, eight, uh, usable host per subnet, we calculated 30, and then they go through a bunch of or not fill it out, and <clears throat> When you do it, when you do your lab, they want you to fill all that out when you do it. If it doesn't match exactly what they say, I wouldn't worry about it. All right.